Is it wrong to be cremated? Well, more and more people in America, really, in fact, the world are being cremated. The question is, especially for those of us who are believers, is that okay? Is it a sin? Well, the issue is we really don't see much spoken about it in the Bible. Remember, if you're going to say something is, then hopefully the Bible also will have said it is. So in other words, whatever the Bible says, we say. Whatever the Bible doesn't say, we might want to tread lightly in saying so. So we speak where it speaks. In other words, you might want to just try to use maybe a plethora of information at our disposal from the Bible if there is some. In this case, there really isn't. Now, interestingly enough, there has been a time, there was a time where God determined to cremate someone, but that's not really what we're speaking about. Speaking about Nadab and Abihu, who approached him in an unworthy fashion and the Lord consumed them with fire. But that's not what we're talking about, right? Well, the question is this, and I want to go to a passage that gets brought up that says that, see, we should be we should be buried. Here's the issue, though. Uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, 42. Now, I'm going to read it out of the New Living Translation because this is where the issue comes from. Uh, it is the same way with our resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. The problem with this passage is it's the New Living Translation, and it is a thought for thought. Nothing wrong with a thought for thought translation. The problem is the words that are chosen aren't the words that are there that are represented in the Greek. And so let's go ahead and pull up the NASB, and I want you to see the difference. So also in the resurrection of the dead, it is sown a perishable body. It is raised an imperishable body that's being planted in the ground. It's just simply not there in the Greek. And it's fine. I understand them giving the trying to give the meaning behind it. But the problem is someone might kind of focus on that word planted and then also planted in the ground and may come to a conclusion that the Lord wants us to be planted in the ground. In other words, the Lord wants us to be buried. Well, that's not necessarily the case, but still the question still remains, is it okay to be cremated? Is it okay? Do we have to be buried? When we think about the Bible, the Bible really only mentions one preferred way. As a matter of fact, in many cases, there are people who want to be buried, not just buried, but be buried in a specific location. You see Old Testament believers, saints, patriarchs saying, make sure that you take my body, my bones here, bury me here. And so that's just a way of them being honored uh, in their death. The question is, though, is that something that we ought to do as believers? Is it is it required? And then if you are cremated, what happens when when we get to pastors like this in First Thessalonians 4.13 says that we do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring him bring with him those who have fallen asleep. So as he's coming back, he's bringing back those who have died previously and the Bible tells us that those who are, I mean, the dead in Christ will be caught up and those who remain will also eventually be caught up and given a new body. The question is, in the resurrection, will we get a new body? Well, obviously the answer is yes, but what about the people who've been cremated? Their bones have been uh, evaporated, uh, vaporized, all of the organs have gone, the bones have returned to dust. And is that what the Bible is speaking about, about us returning to the dust? A couple of things to think about. Everyone that has ever died was not buried in the same fashion that we have been buried. In other words, in America, we're, bur we're buried in boxes and making sure that our bodies don't actually dissolve into the ground, depending on what kind of box you're buried in. But in many cases, many cultures, you were just put in the ground and covered up with dirt. Well, after a while, after some time, not only do the organs uh, go away, but also the bones end up decomposing so much so they become dust. And so you might look at a body, you might find uh, where someone was buried and you might find dust. They weren't cremated, but it might look like that. The issue is though, when God is going to give someone a new body, he doesn't need uh, a body that's already put together. Think about it. When he first fashioned bodies, mine and yours, and even the first bodies, he didn't have an actual body to start off with. He's God. He doesn't need to have an actual set of bones and organs and so forth to give them a new body. They'll get a new glorified body. Now, how does this work? We don't know. He has not told us how it's going to work other than the fact that he will do it. And then you think about this. There have been people who have died who may have lost a limb, lost an arm, lost a leg. Uh, what happens to them? Well, we don't think that they're going to be resurrected and get a new body while missing an arm, missing a limb. And so God is going to give them a complete body. There was there was a person on one of the space shuttles that exploded 
that was a devout Christian. Well, that body was vaporized. We know that even that person would still get a body. God does not need the same material that we need. He's God. So that's not an issue for God. I would say that since the Bible doesn't address it specifically, uh, I would say just lean to whatever your preference is. Since the Bible does not condemn it one way or the other, if you are going, if you are in Christ, you will be in Christ forever. And he will, he will determine how he's going to give you a body. That's really not for us to really think about. For me, my preference is to be buried, but someone else's might be to be cremated. Again, that's, that's the majority of people nowadays. And so it's okay. It's not a, it's not a point to where someone needs to be bothered that maybe a loved one was cremated and worried if, if that is a, an eternal sin or anything like that. No, it's not. Think about it though. Funerals and burials and cremations, those are really for the people who are here. The person that's that's dead and gone, they're gone. The only thing they need to worry about is if they're going to be buried or cremated is to yeah, make sure that I'm actually dead. Otherwise, it just won't be a pretty picture. But for the rest of us, burial cremation is for those that are remaining. Uh, the Bible didn't speak about it. And so therefore, we should not get too hung up on it. Again, when the Bible speaks, we speak. When the Bible is silent, it's best also for us to be silent as well. Amen.